Are you trying to get ahead in AP Biology? Whether or not you're about to take the class or you're already in it, in this video, I'm gonna go over some top strategies to help you get ahead in your AP or college level biology course. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any other content on life science and life lessons from Lasseter's lab. All right, let's get into it. Number one, find a way to organize your biology notes. This isn't just about the note-taking style, and we'll get to that later, but this is about where you're putting all that information that you're taking in when you're reading or when you're in a class lecture or you're doing a lab or you're taking notes on a research project. Think about the exact location that you wanna keep those notes in and make a system that works for you, whether it's on a tablet, Google Drive, in a notebook, but keep it consistent and figure out how you're gonna organize these notes and how you're gonna go back and use them for the test because the best use of any notes is returning to them again to study in preparation for an exam. So figure out your notes organization strategy and stick to it throughout the year. The second one is also notes related and that's to develop a note taking style that works for you. So think about for you, what strategy is the most helpful? I have talked about on this channel before how there are studies that show there is a slight advantage for many students in handwriting the notes because it increases processing time, you're physically slowing down to take the notes and you're more likely to summarize and synthesize ideas instead of typing out word for word verbatim what the teacher or the textbook is saying. But if digital note-taking is something that works for you, you do not have to abandon it for AP Biology, though it is very helpful to find a place where you can also include diagrams or flow charts or charts of any kind as you're taking your notes. These will be extremely helpful for your study strategies later on. Now, once you find that a note-taking style that works for you, don't be afraid to experiment a little bit within the style. For example, if you're using the Cornell note style with different columns and questions, don't be afraid to add some drawings or diagrams within the notes or to actually use those Cornell notes to study by covering up the middle part of the notes and going down and having your friend quiz you on that first column. Now, if you're somebody who says, I do not take notes, I absorb everything that the teacher in the textbook tells me, that is great, but I can guarantee you there will be a point in AP Biology where you're gonna wanna have at least some sort of notes to take with you. So even if you're taking sparse notes, make sure you have a system and a style that works for you before we move on to our next tips. Number three, whether you are in the middle of your AP course or you're just about to get started or you're cramming at the end of the year, you should read through the College Board's course and exam description. Now, this does not apply to any of you taking Bio 101 because your course may differ from the content that the College Board is putting out, but I would still recommend you reading all the way through the syllabus that your teacher provides. What the course and exam description is for AP Bio students is a very long document that details everything that's going to be covered on the exam. This is available open to the public on the College Board's website, and you can learn all about the exam format the types of questions, the units that you're supposed to cover. Now, your teachers don't necessarily have to go in order of the content in the course and exam description. And there are some illustrative examples, for example, that they do not have to teach in order for you to understand the information. But as long as you have a roadmap ahead of you for what you're going to learn, the important things to take away from each lesson, you will be much better suited to remember the key ideas later down the road when you're studying for the AP exam. I really recommend, of course, that AP Bio teachers do this, but that every AP Bio student do this as well, because it'll give you a great idea of what the things are that you're going to cover throughout the year. Now, you may not understand all of it right away, and it may feel overwhelming to go through this document, but it is a good strategy and a great way for you to hone in on what is important in your AP Bio class. And you can return to it as a study resource and an outline for when you're going down and doing your study prep for the actual AP exam. Number four, you wanna forget about everything you've learned in an earlier bio class on certain ideas like cellular respiration, photosynthesis, simple Mendelian patterns of inheritance in genetics. These things are gonna get way more complicated. AP bio certainly takes the information to the next level. That is definitely more scientifically accurate, but may have a lot more details and be a little bit more difficult to grasp. If you're someone who is used to say, the mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell, but you don't exactly know what that means, be prepared to go through the detailed steps of cellular respiration both outside and inside the inner mitochondrial fold. Also remember that genetics is not as simple as a monohybrid cross and complete dominance. You're gonna learn a lot of exceptions to the rule and you're probably gonna learn that the way most genetics work is not the way that Mendel was able to demonstrate with his piece. Aww. So be willing to let go of the simple explanations and dive headfirst into the larger, more complex ones that'll give you a better understanding of how the world works. All right, next up is to increase your reading speed. Now, obviously you're gonna to have to read a lot 
in AP Biology, not just your textbook, but case studies, maybe articles, journal articles even. And then of course, as part of the AP Biology exam at the end of the year for certain questions. So you don't just have to read scientific text in order to increase your textbook reading speed, but it does help to read more. Read more of anything. Read more fiction. Read more in your history classes. The more you read, the faster you'll get, especially when you're encountering new vocabulary. But this will help you get through the material more quickly and more efficiently so you don't have to go back and reread the same paragraph over and over. I mentioned this strategy in other videos, but one useful thing I like to do when you're first starting out with your AP Biology or college level bio text is the note card system, where you take a note card or a piece of paper and you cover up the text just above the section where you've already read. This way you're not backtracking and rereading the parts that you've already gotten through in a textbook. And even if you feel like you don't completely understand what you've just read, it is useful to move that note card down and keep moving forward in the chapter. Once you get to an end of a section, try to synthesize the ideas in your notes or in your head. And if you truly don't understand something, that's when it's time to go back and reread. But try to move forward as fast as you can through your text while synthesizing the information in a way that you can understand. Another thing that will help you immensely as you're going through AP Biology and your other science courses is to read journal articles. So these are actual scientific articles that are published by the researchers doing the research on the topic. This will help you not only at the end of the year in the free response questions for the AP Bio exam, where you're gonna encounter real experiments with real technical terms and be presented with lots of experimental methods and data collection methods and have to try to figure out what is going on and how it relates back to your AP Biology themes, but it will also help you in your understanding of the broader topics that are coming up in your class. The more you are exposing yourself to current research and ideas in science, the better you will be suited to situate the knowledge that you're getting in class with something that is important to you or to the future. If you don't want to dive deep into the actual text of a scientific article, you can start with the summary published on the journal's website. So Nature, Science, plenty of journals post short summaries of some of the research that they have produced. But I really recommend once you're comfortable with scientific terminology to expose yourself to this highly technical writing and see what science journal articles actually look like, because that's where the real science is coming from. So go to Google Scholar, dig into the resources that you have access to and read science articles wherever you can. And my last strategy to get ahead in your AP Biology class or your college level bio class is to subscribe to Lasseter's Lab for biology content, study tips, tricks, and lots more life science and life lessons. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like if it's been helpful and I'll see you later.